talking until someone tells me to shut up. So we are under two minutes up until this next game. This is a mixer, not a junior mixer. Your thing lied to you. It is all adults. I am going to read off the roster for our black team, which is Cool Hand Juke. Ah uh ha -huh ha. -huh. We've got 101 Switch Please, 13 Torrential Pain, 181 Kitty Skittles, 2 Captain Cordelia, number 27 Kryptonite, 0401 April Plowers, number 40 Knuckle Sandwich. 404 Jam Sandwich, oh, same family. 423 Pound Cakes, 54 Meshuganuff, 57 Muggin Lafay, number 585 Daft Spunk, number 66 Lightning Thrash, number 71 Moody Garland, and number 79 Katuska. And for the white team, which is Lonesome Glove, we've got 113 Freya, 1903 Undead Nightmare, 196 Boohoo Blast, 222 Button in, two six six shenanigans, thirty three, little rascal, three seven five so dangerous, six zero Xbox Bree sixty, six 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 Sailor Doom, seven Russet, eight three one Santa Bruise, eight four two Rift Track, and nine nine Bruised Bottom. Wow. Very exciting. Should we read some refies too? Wow. All right. So for our non-skating fishers, we got Danger, Colonel Angus, Kyle, Kyle, Crocodile, Aaron Burr, Mother Flippin' Artist, Jackie, Stompador, Aces and Skates, Jakob the Swedish Ref, and Manny Shovitz. And are those? Yeah. And for skating officials, we got Freddie Mercury Poison, Poisoning. Uh, it's cut off. Hard to say. Uh, Fury, Chewback Offa, Autocorrect, Power Trip, Ronnie Rockets, Duly Noted, and Miller Lite. All right, announcers have a plan. We're ready to rock. Thank you to all of our volunteers. Sorry, Rackless, I ditched you on track management. My bad. Sorry. I left you. We are about five seconds away from our first jam, and off we go. We have Little Rascal Jansen for Lonesome Glove, followed up by Captain Cordelia for Cool Hand Juke. That does sound like a penalty whistle. Some awesome 1v1 by Meshuganov. And that is Little Rascal for Lead Jammer for Lonesome Glove. We do have one black blocker headed to the penalty box along with the jammer for Cool Hand Juke. Unfortunately, Cordelia, it will be in the penalty box. It is a power jam for Little Rascal. And we've got Little Rascal coming into the pack again. Slipping right through. Cordy brought back to the track. Little Rascal now out for four more points. Cordy out on their initial, and Rascal's going to go ahead and call off the jam. Eight points on the board for Lonesome Glove to Cool Hand Jukes zero. Something happened. And lining up for the white jammer, we've got Bruised Bottom. And jamming for Cool Hand Juke, we've got Kryptonite. Getting knocked out and having to recycle back to the back of the pack. Another recycle all the way back, unfortunately, for Kryptonite. And we got a lead jam for Bruised Bottom. Crypto still working on that initial pass being held together down by that white tripod. 
Bruce Bottom coming up for their first scoring pass against the Cool Hand Jukes tripod. And just hop right through there. And a star pass to Jam Sandwich of Cool Hand Juke. Jam putting on that. And Bruce Bottom calls it off. How many points was that? I don't know how many points that was. You're supposed to know. None for Cool Hand Juke. <laughs> Looks like we're going to have an official timeout. Sort through what happened in those last two jams. That does give us time to talk about some of our sponsors. We do have Triple Eight and One Eight Seven Killer Pads sponsoring our tournament this weekend, keeping us all safe. Weird. We will have one blocker in the box for Lonesome Glove to start this next jam. <laughs> Looks like April Plowers for Cool Hand Juke going up against Sailor Doom for Lonesome Glove. We got April Powers Flowers for Lead Jammer. But Danger from Lonesome Glove taking that star pass is now the jammer for the rest of the jam for the white team. Some April. amazing offense just that happened by Meshuganov. Really nice. Woo! And an apex jump to end it. Good job, Danger. Danger coming back from a gnarly knee injury and so naturally showing off with an apex jump. I can't even do an apex hop. Empty penalty box to start off this next jam. Oh, nice. Whoa. And we got a lead jam for the white jammer who is Battlerina. Followed really closely behind by Captain Cordelia. Nice sneaky call off from Battlerina. We're still working on an empty penalty box with Little Rascal jamming for Lonesome Glove going up against Kryptonite for Cool Hand Juke. Little Rascal and wasting right no time. Kryptonite getting recycled into the back while Little Rascal just slips right through her uh, scoring pass. And Kryptonite squeezing through on their initial, putting the cap back on her head. Hopefully coming up to score some points. And Rascal calls it off for another three points. That's a lot of points. Looks like both teams will start with a blocker in the penalty box. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, Black pulled their extra blocker just in time. Looks like we've got April Plowers for Cool Hand Juke going up against. Bruised Bottom, I think. Thank gosh. And Bruised Bottom is out on Lead Jam. Lead Jam, er. Lead Jam, er. Er. Bruised Bottom coming up for their initial scoring pass. April Power is still working on the initial pass of their own. Oh. 
And unfortunately, that is going to be a cut track penalty on April Plowers, sending them to the penalty box. It is now a power jam for Bruce Bottom and Lonesome Glove. And just skips right through the inside line. Beautiful toe stop work. No blockers in the penalty box currently. Going back for some offense to get their jammer out. We do have Meshuganov pivot for a cool hand juke heading to the penalty box. A woo is necessary. Woo. It was a cool move. A woo woo. And April Plowers has made it out on their initial. And Bruce Bottom is going to go ahead and call that jam. Wait on the last couple points. A 12 point jam for Lonesome Glove, bringing their score to 32. Cool Hand Juke sitting at five. Sugar enough, showing their, her friends how many seconds she's got left in that penalty box. So, for those of you new to Roller Derby, when you do get a penalty, it is a 30 seconds that you must spend in the penalty box. First 20 seconds, you spend sitting down. Last 10 seconds, you can stand up and stand in front of your chair before the NSOs release you from that box. Looks like we've got Sailor Doom uh, jamming for uh, black team and, wait, white team. White team. Okay. <laughs> the team. And Captain Cordelia for Cool Hand for Juke. Wow, a nice sneaker on the outside for Sailor Doom. Penalty box is now clear. So both teams starting with their full contingency of blockers and jammers. 20 minutes and 39 seconds left in this first half of the Adult Mixer on the second day of Minnesota's Have a Nice Day tournament. You have a nice day. No, you have a nice. I had a nice day as soon as I saw you. Aww. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Kryptonite and Lil Rascal Jam. Kryptonite just ran straight through the pack. Wide open by Krypta. Lil Rascal, though, not and far Lil behind. Lil Rascal also ran through the pack. It's a race. Woo. Nice hit by Rat Mad Rad there. I don't envy getting a Mad Meanwhile, Rad hit. Meanwhile, uh, Little Rascal just goes around the outside. We do unfortunately now have two blockers in the box for Cool Hand Juke. Crypt is going to go ahead and call it off for Rascal. Can score any more points. So Cool Hand Juke will start with two blockers in the penalty box. Looks like we've got Bruise Bottom and Switch, please, as the jammer. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> I mean, we might, might not be just kidding. It might be. It's very true. We just, you know, got an official timeout. Yeah. Oh, uh, so in our very fun venue here, we are playing. Not be a delay of game penalty. You have to have the door fully closed where our benches are. So slam it shut. And we're jamming. That's a zero point jam right there. I'd call it off too if Switch Plays was chroming after me. Hard passed. So, big old goose egg in the air for both teams. Cool Hand Juke does still have two blockers in that penalty box, so they can only field two blockers this go around. Looks like we've got Battle Rena for Lonesome Glove coming up against Captain Cordelia for Cool Hand Juke. Battle Arena is out. Cordy is fighting through some tough defense. 
Battle already coming around for a scoring pass. And tiptoeing up the inside line does get four points for Lonesome Glove. And Captain Cordelia is out of the pack as well. And calls it off the jam before Cordelia can take any points. Looks like two points from the official. Ooh. Ooh, a gift. And that is Kryptonite for Lee Jammer for Cool Hand Juke. But going back, just in case they did do a cut, unsure. We do have Sailor Doom jamming for Lonesome Glove. And with a sneaky star pass to Russet, the pivot. Sounds like we do have a penalty being assessed on a white blocker headed to the penalty box. Russet is now the jammer for Lonesome Glove. Kryptonite is Lee Jammer. Still stuck on that initial pass as Russet is coming in for points. And we got a drawback on Russet here with some seasoned Minnesota blockers. No thanks. Neither of them are fun to be hit by. Mm -mm. I'd rather not. Krypta is through for four points. Russet working on four points as well. And Krypta's out for four more points, I think. Maybe not. Coming back She's just coming back in case. Just in cases. But we are so good at this. I haven't had any coffee today, you know. All right, Krypta goes ahead and calls off that jam. A couple of hard hits to the floor. I do the exact same thing. Looks like it's going to be three on the board for Lonesome Glove and eight for Krypta and Cool Hand Juke. Just doing that whole hydration thing and drinking water instead of coffee. What an idiot. I'm going to hydrate Ooh, good for you. with some cherry Coke. Ooh, hydrate with some cherry Coke. How Minnesotan of you. Yeah. Gee whizzers. All right. On our jammer line, looks like we do have Little Rascal for a Lonesome Glove, but it is going to be April Powers from Cool Hand Juke with Lee Jammer wide up the inside. Well, switch. Little Rascal is right on her tail. With Switch running down Rascal. No thanks. And a beautiful uh, call-off. 2-0? 2-0. 2-0. Nice. That does bring our score 18 for Cool Hand Juke and 45 for Lonesome Glove. Looks like Cool Hand Juke is going to take a team timeout. Remember, you do get three team timeouts and one official review. Quick reminder, as we're getting to be about the midway point of today, we do have a food truck outside. We also will have an ice cream truck later on to help you cool down. We also have some beautifully talented friends in the corner, Ramey and then Peregrine Tattoo as well, here all weekend giving wonderful tattoos to our wonderful friends. They do flash work. They do custom. Go check them out. Sign up. Don't take my spot. And get some beautiful ink done. I put my number down. You did? Wow. What are you getting? I'm going to get a boba tea. A what? Boba. Like bubble tea? Oh, I can't have that. Oh, I like that texture. Oh, no, the texture freaks me out. Such Absolutely not. Such a good not. texture. Well, I'm too on the spectrum to have that kind of thing. Blech. Yikes. All right, looks like team time now has ended for Lonesome Glove. Again, nice thing about timeouts, even if it's not your team that calls it, everyone gets a chance to take a break. It's nice that I yelled that right in the mic. That was really yeah. good. Yeah, that was nice. This is a really terrible vantage point for knowing who's jamming. Oh, you or can't who's see playing. anything. <laughs> a two, is that Cordelia? Yep, so Captain Cordelia is jamming for Cool Hand Juke. Oh, it's also on the screen. Uh, 99, bruised bottom. Oh, there it is right there. 
<laughs> but it is Cordy out for lead jammer. Bruce Bottom working through the last couple blockers from Cool Hand Juke towards the top. And Bruce Bottom is out of the pack. Cordy through for all four points. And Cordy calling it off. But Bruce Bottom does sneak one point. One point and three points. I like it. Three points for Cordy. Points for Cordy and points for uh, Bottom. I think it was three points for Cordy. Yep. Maybe? Yeah. Three, three for Cordy, We're really for good bottom. at this. Again. Everyone gets points. Points for you. Look under your chair. You all get a point. Kryptonite is back on that jammer line for Cool Hand Juke, going up against Sailor Doom for Lonesome Glove. But it is Kryptonite out for lead jammer for Cool Hand Juke. Krypta is out for four points. And unfortunately, that is going to be a penalty on Sailor Doom, who does still have the jammer cap in hand, so they are still the active jammer for Lonesome Glove. Kryptonite just steps through casually. Like it's easy. So easy. I've heard jamming's really easy. Yes, yeah, super easy. Not at all challenging. I've never cried while jamming, ever. Neither have I. <laughs> no, no, it's too easy for that. <laughs> Krypta, though. Making it look easy. Krypta definitely doesn't cry while jamming. No, 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 no. Never once. Never once. Krypta at 12 points now for this jam. Sailor Doom is back on the track, cap in hand. Sixteen points for Kryptonite. Sailor Doom. Looking to get through on that initial. And Sailor and Doom has cleared the pack. Krypta now, 20 points on this jam. Krypta getting an emphatic call off from her bench. Look at how close the score is. Wow. Two point, I can do that math. That's a two point that, game right there. That's a two point game right there. A two pointer. We got a two point game. Wow. If the math can stay like this the rest of the game, I'd really appreciate it. You can count to two. Pretty much. How did you know? I think you can count to at least four. I use the refs for that. Ooh. A very cool t-shirt whip gets April Plowers through for Cool Hand Juke. And little rascal, little rascal right on her back. Oh my god, I can't say words. Little rascal. I liked it. Give them the old little rascal, little rascal them. Take the mic away. <laughs> they told us to do this. I know. Cool Hand Juke is going to be starting with a one blocker in the box. No change in the score on that last jam. And we got Captain Cordelia up for Cool Hand Juke and Battle Rena on Lonesome Glove. Cool Hand Juke is playing with one block in that penalty box. Both jammers still Both vying for that lead jammer Struggling spot. against their packs. Struggle. It is going to be. And we got Cordy out for lead jammer. Battle does now have the cap in hand. Has passed it to pivot. Kali Ma with a beautiful toe step work on the inside is now jammer of record. That was such a record. nice little flippy move. That was really nice. Cordy now through for four points for Cool Hand Juke. That means it's a lead change, folks. Kali coming in for some points of her own to see if we can't get that lead change back to her. Aren't you supposed to take a sip of water during a lead change? I think you're supposed to drink a sip of water. Does Hydrate. bubbly water count? Okay, yeah. perfect. We love a hydration drinking game. 
Both jammers struggling against two hard packs. Cordy is lead, did just get four more points. Can call it whenever their heart desires, but if you're scoring points, why not keep it going? I can't, I can't count the hands from here. Oh, it's really far. It was like three or four points for both teams. Yeah. yeah. Oh, 11 for Cool Hand Juke. Nice. Four for Lonesome Glove. I should stop trying to read hands and just look at the board. I can't. I tried. My eyes aren't that good. We are having one block in the box for Cool Hand Juke. Looks like we are right now doing an official review. I would like to take a quick second to comment on the coach's outfits. Really impeccable bench coach outfits over here. We got out of Dougie with the chaps yep. and Worfy with the jorts. Is that jorts? Cut off short jorts. Short jorts. Them boots are meant for official reviewing. Someone call me an ambulance. So what's an official review before I pass out? An official review happens when something has occurred during a jam and the officials need to discuss it to ah. figure out if something needs to change or not. I like it. I like it. Or just because they feel like it. Or because they want to, you know? Check Maybe in. Everybody's just tired. The officials need a breather. Yeah. They've been working hard. This is game three of the day. So they've been working very, very hard. And unfortunately, we, not even unfortunately, fortunately, we are halfway through. I'm not sure which team, but they do not retain their official review. Black team called an official review, and they do not retain it, which means that the officials decided that the call they made was the correct call. The officials are so right. They're so good. Bruce Bottom is out as lead jammer for Lonesome Glove. We've got Jam Sandwich on the line jamming for Cool Hand Juke, who has removed that cap and has now passed to Meshuganuff, who's going to be the jammer. Oop. It's okay, buddy. The floor's slippery. Meshuganuff has two blockers. Now three blockers left to beat. Four blockers left to beat at the very top now as Bruce Bottom and is through for four. is out. Nice. Meanwhile, everybody is running into Battle Arena and just like bouncing off. Or not Battle Arena, uh, Bruce Bottom. Look at the score. That, there's another lead change. Another lead change. Another one. Another lead change. And it's still math. It's a two point it's game, still folks. Two points. It's left in this first half of the adult. Both of our microphones have really low battery right now, by the way. Sorry guys, my mic died, now we're back. Got a new one? All right. <laughs> Two blockers in the box for Lonesome Glove. Little Rascal is lead jammer and making moves. Oh, 
Oh, Kryptonite taken out by Mad Red. And Lil Rascal is being told by her bench to call the jam. And that is going to make the score 66 for Lonesome Glove, 56 for Cool Hand Juke, a 10 point game with seven minutes, 18 seconds left in this half. We are going to have an official timeout. Nope, now it's over. And play has resumed. We have April Plowers online for Cool Hand Juke going up against Sailor Doom for Lonesome Glove. That is Sailor Doom with a high step out on the outside line for Lee Jammer for Lonesome Glove. Sailor Doom coming in for a scoring pass. April Plower still working on that initial. We will have a Cool Hand Juke blocker being sent to the penalty box. I believe there has been a star pass. Yeah. Uh, is that Porg? Porg has taken a star pass. Daft Spunky. Daft Spunk, Daft but Spunk. there's a Porg name on Daft Spunk's shirt. Oh. oh, I don't know. Okay, but it's Daft Spunk. Send help. Party Porg, I think. I just need you to help me. Just help me. All right. Cool Hand Juke. We'll be starting with one blocker in the box. And jamming. We will have Bruce Bottom for Lonesome Gloves going up against Captain Cordelia for Cool Hand Juke. And Bruce Bottoms out right away. And Switch Please has just taken a star pass, and she's out of the pack. Bruce Bottom calls it off right away. Smart move. Smart, smart, smart. That does clear the penalty box, though. So next jam, both teams will have their full contingency of blockers and jammers on the line. Looks like we're going to have Little Rascal for Lonesome Glove taking on Kryptonite for Cool Hand Juke. And Little Rascal's out of the pack. Krypta's got Mad Rad to contend with. Kryptonite has also cleared the pack. And that is... Oh, oh. Uh, Kryptonite is in the box. Oh, our jam for Little Rascal and Lonesome Club. And now Little Rascal's in the box which means the jammers have to trade places. What happens is that each jammer gets an abbreviated penalty. The first jammer who went into the box sat for a specific amount of time, and then the second jammer will sit for the same amount of time as the first jammer. It's very confusing. We used to have roller derby where both jammers were in the box for a full minute. Why? It was so boring. That's a minute of not a whole it's lot so of stuff. Boring. I don't understand. Especially when it was like a two minute jam. No, I don't like it. Both jammers, though, are back on the track. This will be a two minute jam because both uh, jammers have gone to the box, which means nobody is a lead jammer anymore. Nobody's happy about it. Two-minute jam's exhausting. Hats are off to them. 
hard pass. But Rascal is out Luckily, for Luckily, they'll probably call it at two minutes. There have been, in the past, some jams that didn't get called at two minutes. I'd cry. I'd cry. I'd burst into tears. Although Lil Rascal is making several Still points for her point. team. A 20-point jam for Lil Rascal and Lonesome That's Glove. That's a lot of points. So many points. That's almost every point. Two on the board for Cool Hand Juke. Score is now 58 to 97. Do the math. I can't. What? You can do math, right? I can do math. I don't know. What math do you want me to do? What's the score difference? I don't. Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't. 39? That's 39 point difference. Thanks. Thanks for doing my math for me. I don't know how to do math. And like it's nothing, Sailor Doom is out for lead for Lonesome Glove. April Plower is still stuck in that pack. We do have one blocker in the box for a Lonesome Glove. Jam Sandwich, attempting to do some offense for their jammer, but it is going to be Sailor Doom out for four points. Meanwhile, we've got April Plowers just fighting through the pack right now. Strong blocker line. And that is going to be a forum call on Sailor Doom, the Lonesome Glove Jammer. So it is now a power jam opportunity for April Plowers and once again, a two minute jam. Uh-oh, danger going to the box now. Now we've got April Plowers fighting through, try and capitalize on that. Oh no. And Very. we've got a star pass. Sneaky star pass. Yes, that was great. Very sneaky star pass on behalf of Jam Bohan Sandwich. G. Yeah. Jam, Jam sandwich, sandwich almost unchallenged on that scoring pass. Four points for Cool Hand Juke. Just kind of ducked under the pack. No big I deal. Don't, want, don't touch me. I don't want it. A little bit of a snuggle on the ground with some teammates. And then we've got Sailor Doom out of the box and through the pack. 10 seconds left in this two minute jam. Both skaters pouring significant points for their team. Sailor Doom is now gonna be sitting at 16. Four more points for Sailor Doom. It looks like Jam Sandwich is gonna be sent to the penalty box as the jammer for Cool Hand Juke, giving Lonesome Glove, a power start advantage, which what, and what will possibly be the last jam of this half. Blah, 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 blah. Sorry, I've talked into a microphone too much today. My words are dying. And we are starting off in a power jam. Bruise Bottom trying to get through and get lead jam before Jam Sandwich is out of the box. Cool Hand Juke making it very hard for Bruise Bottom to get lead on a power jam. I met Bruise Bottom before this and she has an incredible mouth guard. Yes. It's got polka dots polka on dots. it. Loved it. Big it's like fan. like gruesome polka dots. Yeah, I really so liked cool. it. I'm a big fan. Jam Sandwich is now out of that penalty box for Cool Hand Juke. Still no lead declared, and we are almost a minute into this jam. Never mind, there's a lead jammer. From the jam penalty sandwich. box. Woohoo! So Jam Sandwich coming in for their scoring pass. Bruce Bottom still working on that initial jam pass. Jam Sandwich just right through. As soon as I say it, off they go. Amazing. Love it when they duck under. Bruce Bottom Bruce is now Bottom out is on their initial. We said the same thing. Oh my god, you're gonna say the same thing? Oh my god. Do have one in the box for Cool Hand Juke, but a call off from Jam Sandwich. And that's intermission, folks. What's our score? 113 to 70. 113 is the lone.
And we've got 30 seconds left in this intermission. Uh, Chippatooth has abandoned me. Chippatooth. <laughs> Oh, there's Chip. Hi, Chip. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot how time works. That was a lot of running. Where did you go? I was going to go pee, and then I got distracted. Oh, OK. That swooping whistle means the jam's about to get started. About to start. That's the end of halftime. That's the end of halftime. Cool Hand Juke still has one blocker start in the box. Oh my god, that was a lot of running. You should try running less. And we got April Plowers jamming for Cool Hand Juke and Little Rascal jamming for Lonesome Glove. Little Rascal's out again. Just right through. Right through. Do some great offense from Buttonin. April and Flowers now, is also out of the pack. Rascal calling for some help from her friends as she comes up to try and do a scoring pass against Cool Hand Duke and does so with ease, calling off the jam before April Flowers can score any points. And Let's Little Rascal calls it off. Two points for Lonesome Glove, bringing their score up to 115. Cool hand juke, no points on that jam, 72 points. A loud door. They're just slamming the door over in the benches over there. Otherwise, you get a penalty. Otherwise, very silly little door. Empty penalty box for this next jam. You'll love to see it. Uh, for cool hand juke, we've got Kryptonite, uh, who is a late jammer. And also Bruised Bottom for the Lonesome Glove. We've got a power jam for Cool Hand Juke. That means the Lonesome Glove Jammer is in the box, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. I just figured I'd say what a power jam I was. I appreciate it. Yeah. Up until today, I had no idea. Had no oh, idea. Chip. <laughs> oh, Chip. <laughs> that is Kryptonite through for four points. First scoring pass of this power jam. Krypta is also lead jammer, so has the power to end this whenever she wants. Bruise Bottom is out of the penalty box and just working her way through the pack. And Bruise Bottom has finally cleared the pack. That was a tough wall offense. No, defense. Yeah. I know the difference between those. I believe you. I fully support you. Thanks. Yeah. I don't play anymore. You could. You miss it? You want to come play with me? <laughs> I'm about to take a two-year break, so you can't come skate with me. But Congrats. Ooh. I've only cried about it once. It's okay. That's really smart. <laughs> An empty penalty box for our next jam. 80 points to 115 points. Lonesome Glove is in the lead. We do have Captain Cordelia for Cool Hand Juke and Russet for Lonesome Glove. Both jammers facing a lot of defense. Yeah, no uh, thanks. Tough defensive walls. Yeah, don't not like offensive it. walls. That is not a defensive wall I'd want to face up at the top there. Cordy with two blockers left to face, but that does not mean it is going to be an easy fight. And Captain Cordelia is out of the pack with lead jammer. Russet pushing through in the back. Does have Cap in hand, but is making some moves. Cordy being caught by Mad Rat on that outside. An excellent star pass by Russet to Battle Arena. Now your jammer. And Captain Cordelia calls it off before Battle Arena can get any points. Smart. It's typical. I mean, people do that, yeah.
Yet another empty penalty box. Oh, nice. You love to so see clean. it. It's it's so, so clean. It's so pretty. Clean. I'm going to take a nap, go lie down. Just what I want. We have on the jammer line April Flowers for Cool Hand Juke going up against Little Rascal for Lonesome Love. Oh, Rascal saw some daylight on the outside but was recycled back. Now it's go all the way back behind all of their friends. Keeping that toe barely in. And that is April Plowers as lead jammer, but Little Rascal neck and neck. Plowers calls it off. Smart move. Little Rascal, real speedy. I'd have done the same thing. And we've got Kryptonite and Bruise Bottom jamming. Kryptonite's out. Bruise Bottom is held back by a powerful line of blockers, but just did a star pass. That was a so sneaky, dangerous. That sneaky was a very star pass. sneaky star pass. I liked it. But Krypton now in for a scoring pass before danger can come up. There's not a lot of things you want to be sneaky with as a jammer, but like star pass is one of them. That's one of them. Yep. I like it. You want to be really obvious about scoring your points and calling the jam off. Please, I want this jam to be done. Like, there's jammers that are, like, really sneaky about no. calling it off. I'm pretty aggressive. I've been called violent. No. Stop making that gesture. I'm so sorry. I just can't help it. 86 to 116 is that score. We are going to have a white blocker in the box. And we got Battle Arena just right through the pack and lead jammer. And Captain Cordelia following closely. Battle hitting for some points and sneaks up that inside line and calls the jam before Cordy can make a dent in that. Nice call. Like I know off. technically it wasn't that close, but like in yeah. roller derby terms, it's pretty close. It's pretty close. Like they weren't like right next to each yeah. other, but, but it was pretty close. half a pack away, half a track away. That is that's pretty close. For jammers who are really oh, fast, gosh. like those two, that's yeah. pretty close. No touch, no thanks. One blocker still sitting in that penalty box. 22 minutes and 50 seconds left of this second half of the third game of the second day of hand numbers. And that is April Flowers up the inside for lead for Cool Hand Juke. Meanwhile, Daft Spunk doing an impressive drawback on Sailor Doom. It's Sailor Doom, right? Yeah. I know yeah. words. You got it. April Flowers, meanwhile, threw for four points. Sailor Doom still working on that initial pass. We are going to have the jam called. So we'll have everyone clear the track. A little bit of a dramatic pileup that everybody seems to be OK. Everyone's standing up, which everybody's we Everybody's standing up. Everybody's moving. But it was a pause there. You got to sometimes pause. Looks like we are going to have another blocker in the penalty box for Lonesome Glove, which means it'll be a 4-2 pack advantage. We are now having a team timeout, looks like. Yeah. Probably a team timeout. Probably. Official timeout. Ooh. They're a team. Officials are a team. Officials are a team. Officials are the best team because they never lose. They always win. They always win. And they've got the coolest uniforms. What are you going to do? I really enjoyed my bout fits when I was an official. I had, like, all the zebra designs. Ooh. Like, I had uh, fishnets that were a zebra design. Oh, nice. So nice. Wow. Official timeout is over. Jam has started. Little Rascal said, I want lead this time. 
Kryptonite, though, not far behind. Rascal asking her friends to make some moves so she can make some points before Kryptonite hits that pack. Kryptonite, though, sneaking right through. through on that inside line for all four points. She makes it look so easy. I know. It's unbelievable. Rascal now out as well for four. Krypta skating through for another four points. Oh. Oh. There might Full be a, like an oil slick or something over I there. I think so. I've seen people falling over there. Yeah. This floor is, is interesting. I have not skated it yet, but I've heard it's very sticky until you hit a slippery spot, and then off you go. So, so we do have one blocker in the box for Lonesome Gloves, soon to be joined by a blocker from Cool Hand Juke. Rascal is at eight points for Lee Jam. Kryptonite, though, also on eight points. Crypto through for 12 points. Little Rascal, not far behind, also with 12 points of her own, does clear the box for her team, leaving one blocker in for Cool Hand Juke. We gonna have another official timeout. Official timeout. Brought to you by. You can tell by the hand signals. Oh, this is official timeout. I thought that was official review. Uh, official review goes like that. Oh, um, this is really good for our Twitch listeners because they can't see us. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm gesturing on my shoulders like a McDonald's M. It's really nice. Or YMCA. YM official review. Oh. If it's a team timeout, they do that, and then they gesture they at the team. They gesture to the team. But if it's an official review, they do that, and they make an O with their hands. Uh, okay. I'm learning so much about roller derby, you guys. This is so great. We've got some officials converging over at their table. Again, this does give teams a chance to check in with each other, rehydrate, give some high fives on the jammer line. Super cute. We do have 18 minutes left in the second half of this game. Currently, Did you 102. Say 18? That's not 18. 18 minutes left? Oh, 18 minutes. Oh, oh I thought you were saying cord. the point difference. No, that I is can not do better math points. than that. It's 30 points. Okay. Oh, my gourd. Okay. You, you couldn't do math. That's very true. But when it's easy math like that. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. pretty easy math. Yeah. Imagine. Got a ref using their dad voice. Brief chat, checking in. Still on an official timeout. Another good time to shout out the fact that we do have a food truck out in our parking lot, soon to be joined at 3 p.m. by an ice cream truck to help combat the heat that we are experiencing here in Minnesota on this lovely August day. So after I'm this game, so excited for some ice cream. I'm stoked. I haven't had lunch yet. Ice cream for lunch sounds like a pretty good idea. I haven't had lunch either. Let's go get lunch. Let's get some ice cream ice lunch. Ice cream lunch. I'm only skating later. It's fine. Don't tell Max. All right, this jam is off and running. We got Bruce Bottom for Lonesome Glove. Captain Cordelia for Cool Hand Juke. And we've got Bruce Bottom out with Lead Jammer and a Power Jam as Captain Cordelia just went to the box. So, got some excellent offense occurring so that Bruce Bottom can get through. But a beautiful block uh, by Lightning Crash. But also pretty incredible defense incredible from the other team defense. to prevent any points from immediately yeah. happening. I don't know how blockers do it. That's how you do a power jam. Blocking stuff stresses me out. Again, really nice offense for Bruce Bottom, but again, combated by some beautiful defense from Cool Hand Juke. And Captain Cordelia is out of the box and into the pack. Just right through it. Oh, there we go. They're just right out. Wow. That was... Some impressive jamming. Cordy said, I don't need offense. I do Cordy it myself. Cordy was just like, I'm done with this. I Let's do it just myself. Get out. Yeah. That was a quick jam, too. Eight points on the board for Lonesome Glove. Bring their score up to 140. Cool Hand Juke being held at 102. On the jam line, looks like we've got Swatch Plurs. 
for Cool Hand Juke. She told me that's how you pronounce it, Swatch Blurs, with Sailor Doom for Lonesome Glove. Both jammers fighting for that lead jammer position. It is going to be. And we've got, oh, they're both out. Oh, no, one, oh. One of them got a penalty. Switch Please has lead jam. Lead jam, power jam for Switch Please. Tiptoeing through on that inside line is four points for Switch. She doesn't make it look easy because she just like slams through people. Yeah. Like it, it like looks shifts, very difficult for the other people. the structure of your anatomy a little bit. Your skeleton oh, yeah. like goes an inch to the left. I definitely got some chiropractic adjustments from her. Full free. That is four more points for Switch on the board for her team, Cool Hand Juke. Closing that gap in these points. Woo. A couple people knocked to the floor. That is another four for Switch as Sailor Doom is back on the track, cap in hand. They were in her way and they were presenting their chests to her. Like, Silly. That's, yeah. Move. I do that every time I try and block Switch and it doesn't work well. Another four And we got points. a jam call off by Switch. What a dainty a call, jam off. call off. That a was very dainty. sneaky. And a bow. So that was going to be 16 points on the board for Switch, please, and Cool Hand Juke, bringing their score up to 118 to Lonesome Gloves, 140. Still no one in any real penalty trouble. Couple of blocker or couple of players rather, excuse me, sitting at three penalties apiece. Again, we're halfway through the second half. Lots of room to grow. We got Battle Arena jamming for the Lonesome Glove and Kryptonite for Cool Hand Juke. And Battle Arena is out of the pack. Lee Jammer. Beautiful run up that outside line. Kryptonite still fighting with two blockers up front. Ooh bit of a pile there. And Krypta is out. Battle. Getting some. Meanwhile, Shuggy just annihilated Battle Shuggy Arena. Said, no thanks. And Battle Arena was like, let's be done. Battle Arena said, I don't want to do this anymore. This is no longer fun for me. So Chip, do you remember how there used to be a team awesome? No. We're team awkward. Yeah, honestly. Listen, but we embrace it. We're both, we can't stand still. We're both just rocking back and forth. We need a nap and maybe some meds. Un unsure. Need to generate dopamine somehow. <laughs> There's some dopamine for you. We got Xbox Bree 60 making her jamming debut and lead jam at that for Lonesome Glove. I love Glove. that name. Xbox Bree 60. An amazing Great. name for an amazing skater. Ooh, we have had a star pass to Jam Sandwich. Bree is now on her scoring pass. Looking to get some points. Just Looking for some points. the front pack. Excellent defense going on up there. And Xbox Bree 60 is out of the pack. We do have a we have four big roller derby points. Four big four points. Four big roller derby points. The biggest points you've ever seen. We do have, unfortunately, two Lonesome Glove blockers headed to the penalty box. Xbox Bree 60 says, that's OK. Two blockers are now in charge of holding back Jam Sandwich. Little Ooh. Rascal really picking on Jam Sandwich, dragging them all the way back to the back of that pack. Recognize little rascal from jamming, but also she's a good blocker. She's an amazing she's, blocker. Yeah, just look at, look at this. She's just yeah. We do have another. Just controlling the heck out of that jammer. Unbelievable. Meanwhile, Xbox Bree 60, and now at eight points for this jam, coming around for her third scoring pass. As we unfortunately do have a cool hand juke blocker headed to the penalty box. Hard scenario when you are not lead, you've been past the star, you can't give the star back. That, will se that hit will send Lil Rascal to the penalty box. Xbox 360 blasting through 12 points so far on this jam, her first jam of the game as jammer. That penalty box is very not clean right now. No, it's a little messy Got over there. Some skaters in it. It's a smudge. 
Xbox 360 does choose to call off the jam. That will leave 16 points on the board for Xbox 360. Two blockers in the box for Lonesome Glove, one in the box for Cool Hand Juke. And April Plowers finding tons of room on that outside for lead jam. Bruce Bottom being held back by the Cool Hand Juke's tripod. April Plowers coming up looking for some points now. Cool. Bruce Bottom still working on their initial pass. And escaping is now out on their initial looking for some points of their very own. Little Rascal re-enters the track as the pivot. April Plowers coming around the outside of that pack for four points. April and Plowers has called it off. Smart move. A smart move. Four on the board for Cool Hand Juke, bringing their score up to 122 to Lonesome Gloves, 158. 12 minutes, 24 seconds left in this game. Dude, yeah, Morphe's outfit is incredible. We gotta do our awkward dance. Currently on a team timeout for Cool Hand Juke. Take a second, breathe, rehydrate. Fan yourselves. It's starting to get a little toasty in here. We are unfortunately in August in Minnesota, which is sweaty and warm. Oh, whoopsie is on the move. Dun -dun 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 Wow, so fast. Wow. So fast. Wow. Usain Bolt, is that you? He's not even wearing wheels right now. No. That was on feet. Olympic sprinter. Shoes. Whoopsie Elizabeth Daisy over here. Gee, are you tired? Yeah, I bet. I bet. Yeah. She just really wanted to embody Shikari Richardson. Who doesn't, honestly? I mean, yeah. Oh, my like, God. If, if you got to sprint. Why not be like Shikari? Oh, she's so good. All right, we do have one block in the box for Cool Hand Juke. We got switch, another please. switch jam. And switch is lead jammer, Sailor Doom. And there she oh, unfortunately, Sailor Doom is going switch to receive. Switch, please, has a power jam. Uh, that's a high block. That's what Sailor Mo Doom got. High block on Sailor Doom. Send them to the penalty box. Switch, please, hit to that inside, recycling back on her scoring pass. Though the hand signals did change since I was an official. Uncalled for. Yeah, so I only know some of them now. I know the cut track. It doesn't really matter, because if you hear your number and a whistle, you, gotta go you just down. get off the track. I was. And Switch with another very delicate, dainty call off ends that jam. So clearing dainty. everyone. So dainty. Clearing everyone in the box except for Sailor Doom, who gets to hang out and wait for this next jam. Uh, Sailor Doom's pretty well set up to get a lead jam right now. Oh, yeah. Just, you know, if you're standing in the penalty box at the start of the jam, that's not bad. Not bad. Not I bad. love a sneaky out of the box lead jammer. For Cool Hand Juke, we will have Kryptonite starting on this power jam. Ooh. Two more to contend with up top, but. And Kryptonite is out with lead jammer. So even though Sailor Meanwhile, Doom did Sailor leave. Doom is coming in hot. Yeah. Kryptonite coming in for a scoring pass. It looks as though we have a star pass to Little Rascal. A star pass to Little Rascal has definitely occurred. There she goes. She's she got goes. it. She's very speedy. Kryptonite is out on a cut call. Kryptonite now heading to the penalty box for a penalty. Uh, that, that means that she gets an extra penalty because she didn't hear her number oh, being called. No. So it's a double penalty, a whole minute. A TOFA. 
Yeah. So that means this jam will go the full two minutes because if you are a lead jammer and you are assessed a penalty, you lose your lead jammer status. This gives Lil Rascal and Lonesome Gloves some time to rack up some points for her team. She's already at eight points on a star pass. Lil Rascal wasting no time in scoring some points for her team. Thank you. Jammer is sitting for a full minute. So we will not see Crypto back until a minute after she sat down. Lil Rascal, meanwhile. I feel like she's just doing laps. Honestly. Just some endurance. Light endurance. She's getting great offense from her team. Oh, we've got some tough defense, even though, you know, they're, uh, they're working hard. I, I lost my words. You did great. I'm really proud That's of you. so great. Yeah, yeah. Kryptonite is back on that track, looking to continue her points. I got a little frazzled because I thought about being hit by, hit by Shug. Oh, absolutely not. Oh, no. Absolutely not. not. That's enough to send anyone like, into a panic. She is so wee and so powerful yeah. and pointy. Yeah. Like, it's just like a little bitty bus hitting you. On, but like a very sharp. A very sharp little bitty bus. But the nicest bus. The nicest little bus. Aren't you? Shug is the nicest little bus. We're just the nicest bus. Shug's like, what? We have an empty penalty box for the first time in a little bit. Battle Rena and Captain Cordelia currently on the track for their respective teams. No lead jammer as of yet. We have had a penalty whistle. Looks like this is going to be on Xbox Bree 60 as she heads to the penalty box as a blocker. And we got Captain Cordelia out with lead jammer. We have also had a star pass on behalf of Lonesome Glove. So dangerous. Now you're jammer for the rest of this jam. So dangerous, fighting through the back of the pack. And unfortunately, I believe there has been a track cut penalty called on Captain Cordelia. So this will go the entire two minutes. So many two minute jams. So many. You love to see it when it's not you. So dangerous, drawn all the way back to the back of the pack by Cat 2. I can't see what's going on because the officials are doing their official oh, business in so the middle of the track. Irritating. And the pack is on the other side. But now it's coming towards us a little bit. Now we see that So Dangerous has escaped that pack, is out to score some points. Still on a power jam for So Dangerous. 45 seconds left in this jam. Nice sweep there, working to get So Dangerous out of the pack. And it worked. That was a great sweep there. That was a great sweep. We do have Button heading to the penalty box. It's a nice reason to have four blockers on the track. I ah, love to see it. Any help I can get, I'll take. Cordy only cont having to contend with three blockers. A beautiful sweep on the outside. They just weave, weave through. As easy as you can. We are now have a penalty on a black blocker. Heads to the penalty box. Cordy at eight points for this jam. So dangerous at four after that star pass. Cordy, I believe, now at 12 points after that pass. An excellent jam. And that jam will reach its natural conclusion. I feel sorry for how warm it must be skating right now. Can you imagine? We're so warm. I'm so warm standing still. I can't imagine. I got to skate at 8 p.m. tonight, and it's just going to keep cooking and I cooking. mean, at least, like, you have the sweat and the breeze, so you get a little bit of... Uh, Cool breeze. It's like being in a disgusting mister. Yes. Ew. Mmm, delicious. You take what you can get. I'm gonna take a couple vaccines, I think. <laughs> Folks. Biggest announcement of the day. The ice cream truck has arrived. You've got a big dribble I on your hand. Know. So wait till this game is done because some exciting stuff is happening. But then after the words, get your butts outside. Get some ice cream because it is hot in here. Should we just leave and go get some? We Nobody will now. know if we're gone. No one's going to. No how one would, they would know? know. Yeah. How would they know? Rolling whistle means the timeout is done. Oh, I like my job. We only have six minutes left in this game. Only six minutes until ice six cream. Minutes. It's okay. Oh, 
Oh, the jam is on right now. Oh, the jam started. We've Eight, got 20. April Plowers jamming for Cool Hand Juke, and Bruce Bonham is lead jammer for Lonesome Glove. Beautiful toe stop work on that outside to get Bruce Bonham out as lead jammer. Bruce out, up for a scoring pass. April Plowers is out on their initial, coming around to look at to score some points of their own. Bruce Bottom is being dragged to the very back of the pack and is going to go ahead and call the jam before April Flowers can add anything to that score. Take a look at the score. Just one single point. One point. For Bruce Bottom. It's a 40-point game. That's a good point. It was at one point a 100-point game. Oh, my goodness. We do have a blocker back in the penalty box, so one blocker apiece in that penalty box. Five minutes and 13 seconds left in this game. Xbox Bree 60 taking on Switch Please. Switch Please is your lead jammer. Switch busting through for four points. Xbox Bree 60 still working hard on her initial pass. Is looking for some help from her friends. Meanwhile, Switch Please is coming around. Like a pinball bouncing on through Just Xbox, a little, little ping pong ball, ping there. pong, yeah. ball, 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 ball. or uh, pong, you know that that old game, that one game. I don't know that old yeah. game. Oh, very I'm, old game, old if, computer game. Boy, Maybe you weren't born yet. I probably wasn't. I don't sorry. know if I was born yet. I might not have been born yet. I don't know. You just didn't have this knowledge. <laughs> I know pong. <laughs> Switch, please. 12 points so far on this jam. Coming up for more. Xbox 360 is also working on her scoring pass. Currently, penalty box is nice and clean, nice and empty. Switch, please, is through for four more points, bringing her total to 16. Bree's working on some points of her own. What a mess of people to try and get through. Yeah. Wow. It's a lot to keep track of. And switch, please. And she's going to call it from the ground. A smart move. That was. We're going to see how many points come through at the very end here. I do see three on the board for Xbox Bree 60, bringing their score to 184. Switch with a 20-point jam, bringing Cool Hand Juke score to 161. In Derby, that's pretty close. That's a pretty close that's score. pretty close. Yeah. Three minutes left. Plenty of time for Cool Hand Juke to get some stuff moving. It's anybody's game. It's anybody's game. Just try to spit out all the derby announcer cliches. And now I can't think of any. Isn't that cool? Oh, Kryptonite out for Lee Jammer. It's because I said star contingency oh, not, blockers not a star 87 pass. times. Oh, look Just, at that. You know, held the star Rift to track. get out of the pack. Is out. And then put the star back on. Right back on their head. Rift Track, I believe, making their jamming debut in this game, looking for some points. Crypto, also working on a scoring pass. We do have one blocker in the box for Cool Hand Juke. Both jammers pushing hard against those tripods, looking for any daylight at all. Kryptonite knocked to the outside and getting dragged all the way back. Rift Track also being back for a little bit of a trip. But there will be a penalty on Cool Hand Juke's pivot as Rift Track is out with four points. Kryptonite will call the jam after a little bit of help from her bench. Four points on the board for both jammers. Don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that. Timeout. Four. That's definitely a timeout there. That is Team a timeout. timeout. Cool Hand Juke. Team timeout for Cool Hand Juke. You know. You can tell because Angus is gesturing at their bench. Oh. Um, I was looking at the scoreboard because it was blinking at me. Us? Who? Us? It's uh, apparently a team timeout for team announcer. Team Thank Awkward. God, we've been working so hard. We were, yeah. I'm you know exhausted. how we were saying it's really warm and we don't have ice cream yet? Yeah. I'm really regretting not getting ice cream. 
Yeah. It's okay. We only have one minute and 42 seconds left before we go oh, get set. I Maybe if my uh, former legitimate announcer husband can go get me some ice cream <coughs> and chip some ice cream. Paging Maddening to the ice cream John truck. John Maddening should get us ice cream. Paging Maddening to the ice cream truck. <laughs> Is that a middle finger in the air? No, he would never. <laughs> I didn't see it. It didn't happen. Ice cream does sound really good now. All right, Cool Hand Juke fielding their crew. We do have one blocker in the box. And that is gonna be Bruce Bottom facing off against Captain Cordelia. One minute, 42 seconds left on this period clock. Rut row. We've got Captain Cordelia up against Bruce Bottom. And Bruce Bottom is out of the pack, lead jammer. They said, I don't wanna do this anymore, I wanna run away. And that unfortunately is gonna be a penalty on Captain Cordelia for Cool Hand Juke, sending them to the penalty box, giving Bruce Bottom and Lonesome Glove a power jam, as well as lead jammer status. Some excellent offense by her team, got her out. Beautiful toe stop work. Coming up next after this game, we do have Minnesota Nice, our B team, taking on Denver C team. So get your ice cream, get your snacks, and come on back. That is going to be a wild game to watch. After that, we will have Grand Raggedy at 6 p.m. taking on Connecticut All-Stars. And then at 8 p.m., Minnesota A All-Star taking on Denver B team. And then we can all go to bed. Bruce Bottom smartly went back because Very smart. her foot just dragged the outside when she was trying to get through. And you never want to risk it. You don't want to cut. That's no. not worth getting a cut I've penalty it's for. Not fun. I have never cut a day in my life, so I wouldn't know. No, of know. course not. Not once. Kind of the most embarrassing penalty. You've never done it. <laughs> don't perceive me in this way, please. Cordy is out with four points. Bruce Bottom also has four points under their belt. Bruce Bottom is lead. The best cut I ever had was prior to you being able to go back and yeah. not have a cut. So I just like went straight through the middle of the apex. Sure. And I was making eye contact with the official and just, you know, said the bad word. Yeah. At the face. And yeah. I was just like, I know that this is happening. I'll just see myself You're not to the supposed box. to swear at officials. I was swearing at the situation. Yeah. You, had, you didn't know. It's okay. <gasps> Folks, and looks like we are working. Score. That was an unofficial.